Hey, what's going on guys? I of course am Dr. P and welcome back today for another video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop back by. It really does mean a lot. Today is a very busy day and this is the second upload of the day. So I highly recommend you check out the first one. In this one, we're gonna keep going over more info regarding the 7.1 patch that went live earlier this morning. There's truly so much to cover. And in the first one, I couldn't get into it all. So I thought I would dive a little further into it in this one. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And definitely turn on those notifications so you can be among the first to learn anytime something happens in Fortnite. So let's go ahead and get started. As you guys know, the Infinity Blade was an item that was added to Fortnite last week. It was incredibly overpowered. It was just too strong to be in the game. There weren't any real counters. Some people said, yeah, the balloons, but... I don't know, I felt like that wasn't a good enough counter, so rightfully so, they vaulted the sword, and it looks like they are going to be bringing it back in the form of an LTM, which, in my opinion, is what it should have been the whole time, right from the get-go. With the 7.1 patch this morning, new game files were added to suggest that the sword is going to have an LTM, it will be for duos and squads. So it looks like literally just normal Fortnite gameplay in duos and squads, it's just that the sword is enabled and it's an LTM. I don't hate this idea at all. I think the sword is, you know, a big part of the storyline just because uh, in the first loading screen when you boot up the game, there is the Ice King holding the Infinity Blade. It kind of stinks that they had to remove it from the game. I mean, if they had any testing going on whatsoever, they would have figured out the sword is OP. All it took was a little bit of testing, anyone with a brain to play, and they would have figured out that it was overpowered from the start, but that's a story for a different day. I feel like just because of how much time they spent developing the sword, they were obligated, in a sense, to bring it to the game in some way, in some fashion, especially since it had already been in the game for just a few days, and just by being so exclusive, being a mythic weapon that only spawns in on one place and people fight over it, just naturally, there are a lot of people that never even got to use it, so I bet a lot of people are glad the sword is coming back, but only in an LTM. If it were to come back into the real game, there would be so many complaints, but I'm glad they're putting it back in some way, just so people can try it out. It's fun, and the LTM ensures it's not a real game. I think this is the correct way to handle the sword because clearly, like I said, they put a lot of time into it and it deserves to be featured in the game, just not in the sense that it was before where you have 400 health and you regen health every time you hit someone and it's near impossible to kill you unless people gang up on you. And I guess that's not the bad part. The bad part was that it was in real public matches. The second they created LTM for it, in my opinion, all problems are gone. So it goes without saying at this point that everyone knows the snow biome in the southwestern corner of the map exists. It's snowing there now. It's covered in snow. But it looks like we may be in store for even more snow. If you take a look at this leaked image from user Lucas7YoshiLeaks over on Twitter, it shows what the map will look like later on in the season, or at least we think so, because this is pulled directly from the files and it is the Athena snow map, and Athena simply means battle royale in the game's coding, and it does look very well done. I mean, this looks like it's official. I wouldn't doubt this whatsoever. Is it just me, or does it give me kind of like OCD when I look at the desert and I see it's covered in snow, you know? That is what seems very strange. I'm wondering how the snow, you know, went onto the desert, but... Just because it's a desert, it doesn't mean snow can't happen. I know it's rare, but I'll give you an example. Here's the Grand Canyon, of course, in Arizona. Very, very deserty, covered in snow. Things like this do happen. I've seen a lot of people on social media say that this map is going to be live tomorrow, as early as tomorrow, December 19th, to start the 14 days of Fortnite. Of course, if you don't know what that is, uh, there's going to be challenges you can complete every day to get a free gift for 14 straight days leading up to the new year, which is extremely exciting. I hope we get some cool stuff. I definitely could see it happening, but I also wouldn't bank on it. You know, I wouldn't absolutely count on it. The only thing that I have to debate against why I think that might not happen is it seems kind of weird that it would all of a sudden just go from being a third of the map covered in snow and overnight it turns into the whole map covered in snow. That's a pretty significant snowstorm that just comes out of nowhere, basically. Now, let me just be clear. I'm not saying that I don't think the map isn't going to be eventually entirely covered in snow. I'm just saying I don't know if I would buy into the fact that tomorrow we'll wake up and it will instantly all be covered in snow. I could be proven wrong, and in fact, I hope I am. That would be awesome. So there's going to be some new game modes added along with this Christmas event. One of them is trios. Now, 
as the name implies, it's simply Battle Royale with three-person squads. This is something that has been asked for for so long, and quite frankly, I'm kind of surprised it took this long because the feature itself is an extremely simple one. Like, literally, all you have to do is make it so you can queue up with three people. This is something that I am very excited about. It adds a lot more options for players to play with friends. You know, if you have two people online and you want to play with them, but you don't want to go into a full squads and get at a disadvantage, this is definitely awesome, and I'm so glad this is happening. Now, there's also another LTM coming out. It's called Icy, I-C-E-Y. The mode description is, ice blocks are on everyone's feet, and all players are given infinite ammo grapplers. This will be fun and a unique mode to try out for yourself in the festive season. If you've ever fallen on one of those freezer traps or you've ever fallen onto, you know, currently greasy growth with all the ice covering it up, you'll know that it is not easy to traverse the map with ice blocks on your feet. It's really tough actually and you have almost no control of where you're going. So this game mode seems like it would be really chaotic. I mean, if everyone's just got infinite ammo grapplers and permanent ice blocks on their feet, that's going to be a tough game mode to coordinate and to actually play. I feel like that's just going to be kind of a gimmick game mode, you know, uh, unlike all the other LTMs, because in the other LTMs, there's a goal and it's pretty easy to do. In this one, it's kind of adding an element of randomness with the ice blocks on your feet. So there's actually a free skin that you can claim right now if you play on PlayStation. Now there's one catch about it. You need to have an active PlayStation Plus subscription, which is kind of strange because on PlayStation, you do not actually need to have PS Plus to log in and play Fortnite. Anyway though, let's get right into the bundle. It's actually a skin bundle, including an outfit, a back bling, and a 2D pizza emote. You can go to the store right now and claim it. It's called the PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack. And the favorite thing, or at least my favorite thing about this entire skin is the back bling. It's called the tabulator. It actually shows your kill count in the game. Like literally as you get kills, the number on the back will keep changing. Having a dynamic back bling like that, especially one that is literally free, is amazing. And I wonder if possibly they could extend this, you know, promotion over to other platforms. Because I play on PlayStation, obviously, I'm going to be able to get these skins. But a lot of you guys aren't going to be able to, at least as of right now. Because there are Xbox players and PC players, mobile players, Switch players. I wonder if either A, they'll get in on this promotion and get this skin bundle, or if they'll make another unique skin skin bundle and give it out to those people. I really hope so. It seems a tad unfair that PS Plus would get this. I mean, I, I guess it kind of makes sense because they're doing a collaboration with PlayStation and they're trying to reward those who have actually spent money on PS Plus as opposed to just playing the game for free. I don't know though, we'll definitely see what happens in the future and I'll keep you updated if anything else, including any other free skin packages, becomes available. On a scale of 1 to 10, I want to know exactly how hyped you are for this season. Now that we know everyone is pretty much on break, it's the time to grind, it's really close to Christmas, right around the holidays, this is the time that everyone is going to be playing games. Like, I can just imagine. All sorts of people are going to be playing games over the next two weeks while they're out of school and while they're out of work. I'm sure Epic Games knows that and I'm fully prepared to think that they have taken advantage of the situation and they have many updates ready to come out over the course of the next few weeks while people are, while people are able to play much more freely. 